Hey, Brian. How you doing? Hey, doing good. How you guys doing? All right. Um, Not practicing in the snow, are you? Uh, We are not. (laughs) Unfortunately, we're we're inside. (laughs) Uh, Just, I, I just. You know, as, as you look at your quarterback group, what 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 should be the main focus for them, and what do you what are some of your points of em- emphasis this spring to get across to them? I think I think we got a, a great room, guys that are going to work hard to, to get better. Um, really, uh, I've, I've been trying to get these guys to learn all the little details, all the little details of the offense, uh, to where they can lead and almost be a coach on the field when they're out there. Uh, but but we got some guys that are that are hard workers uh, that got some talent. Uh, we're going to let them all showcase what they can do and compete this spring. And uh, I look forward to, to seeing what they got. Just, um, you know, how much right now would you, would you anticipate aid in participating this spring? Uh, he's, he's very limited. Um, he can do some things uh, just, uh, just dropping straight back and throwing the football, but uh, we're not, uh, we're not going to risk getting him hit or, or getting somebody falling on him. So, uh, he, he's 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 fairly limited right now. Yeah. Just uh, you know, the, the three games Jack started for you guys, uh, the Minnesota game, really great completion percentage. But how do you evaluate his his small body of work of what he did last year, and then what what need, what does he need to do to kind of uh, you know continue some of that into into the spring? Yeah, you know the thing we we talked about kind of as a group and, and as an offense as a as a team is is. Uh, you know, trying to develop winners. Uh, so just whatever it takes to win the game. But I thought Jack, you know, uh, he, he played some good football. He had a, he improved his quarterback rating, improved his completion percentage. Um, now we, we need to improve that winning percentage. That's not always on the quarterback, uh, but a lot of times quarterbacks and head coaches, uh, they get kind of judged if they win or if they don't. Uh, so we, we want to develop uh, a winning attitude all across the board. Um, but just trying to find ways to, to win football games and uh, making sure that he's doing everything he can to help us win the game. What's uh, you know, where, where's Austin improved at? I mean, we didn't see him play last year, but kind of what 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 can he add to to your mix and to your room? Yeah, Austin has uh, he has some good quickness. Uh, he can he can run with the football a little bit. He can be a little bit mobile. Um, uh, you know, outside the pocket doing some things. So. Uh, we look forward to, to seeing what he can do this spring. Uh, you know, it's a it's it's a fairly steep learning curve with our offense, and, and he didn't get here until camp last year. Uh, so he, he spent a lot of time studying, trying to learn the offense and get better. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what he can do once he's he's very comfortable uh, with the terminology and with, with what's going on. You know, Jeff last year talked pretty highly of Alamo. Um, yeah. Uh, what he had done in practice, but just what do you see out of his skill set, and you know what are, what are some of his strengths that he can bring to the position? You know, he has all the tools that that you look for. Uh, he's big, strong. Uh, he's athletic. He's got he's got a big arm. He can make all the throws. Uh, so now it's just the you know he was here his first year as a freshman, just getting his feet wet. Did a great job of kind of running our look team and and giving them a look every week. Uh, and it was a weird freshman year, you know. For, for everybody, but as a freshman to come in and have to deal with what we dealt with with COVID and not having a full season. Uh, so now really just trying to get him to hone in on the details, learn the offense, be able to execute uh, the plays exactly the way we're looking for. And uh, this spring is a big opportunity for him to come out and compete. How weird of a year, of a year was it for you, a coach, in COVID? Oh, uh, definitely different. Yeah, definitely different. Uh, having to do the virtual – uh, having to be spaced out, uh, you know, wearing the mask and uh, the starting and stopping. And uh, it, w- it was, it was, uh, it was a difficult year. All righty. I'll pass on. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Tom. Hey, Brian. Um, let's talk about the, the competition between these quarterbacks. I mean, it, it, it seems like they're guys that, that, that aren't really cutthroat. They, they sort of want to help each other out. And it's very fostering environment it seems like they enjoy seeing each other succeed yeah I, I think we got a good room and uh I've talked about it a bunch of times but it stems back to when I got here the room was 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 filled with good guys and uh David Blau and Elijah Sindelar that um really were great examples of how you compete but but still be able to have a friendship and, and want each other to have success 
because uh, you know this position of quarterback I say it all the time it's not like you can go uh, one-on-one and uh, like a, a basketball player and, and find out who's gonna who's gonna beat each other one-on-one there's a lot of other factors uh, that go into each play each time you're in there uh, so a lot of you know the body of work has to express itself over time uh, but these guys I want them to compete and raise each other's level uh, but they do a good job of uh, of helping each other out and realizing that they're really competing against themselves. Uh, they can become the best version of themselves. Uh, hopefully that will get them where they want to be. Uh, so as long as they're competing and, and having a great attitude, uh, helping each other out, but, but they still, they all want to be the guy. There's no doubt about it. And, and we want them to have that, that mindset where they want to be that starter. And this is the competition that's going to boil all the way into August, right? Yeah, I mean, I anticipate this, as always, we, we let these things play out. I think uh, the body of work at, at this position uh, within competition is, is very important. Uh, you don't want to jump the gun and, and, uh, and decide it one way or the other before letting things play out. But uh, if anything makes itself, you know, completely clear, then, then we'll make the call. But uh, we'll, we'll let them compete. We're, we're always wanting competition and, yeah. and guys to compete. And lastly, I know Aiden's limited, but what is it you would like to see him get better at, and what is it you would like to see Jack get better at this spring? Uh, with with Aiden, um, it's always going to be his his mobility uh, that that's a little bit limiting. Um, so he needs to he knows this, but he needs to be uh, darn close to perfect uh, as a as a passer within the pocket. Uh, to be very successful. We want him to improve his athleticism and, and being able to, to make those quick movements within the pocket and, and know when to escape and, and when he needs to throw it away and, and based upon uh, his athleticism. Uh, and, and right now it's hard for him to work on those athletic movements because of his foot. Um, and Jack, I think consistency, uh, that's the thing we've, all, we've been trying to work on for the last uh, few years, but he needs to, to, to become just more consistent, play in and play out, more accurate, uh, precise. I'll say he, he's accurate, but I want to be precise with the football, uh, kind of saying instead of a completion where the guy has to reach up, let's make those balls where they don't even have to reach, where we can just catch them in stride and, and doing that every time. Um, there's, a, there's a few uh, throws here and there that he'll miss uh, where he needs to be consistent and knock those out of his game.